All right, guys, we got this. Let's go. Good white trip speed. Pros next go. On one, on one. Ready? Three. Three. What's up, guys? It's Pick'em with Huddle GG, and welcome back to our first Mutt GG Tip of the Week for Madden 24. In this video, we're going to talk about the importance of quick adjustments and how we can be most effective in setting up our defense pre-snap. I cannot stress enough how valuable this information is in becoming a better defensive player each and every year in Madden. But with that being said, let's hop right into it. When it comes to making pre-snap adjustments on the defensive side of the ball, practice mode needs to be your best friend whether you're a newer player or you've been playing the game for a long time. If you're a newer player, what you can use this for is understanding what adjustments you're able to make and also understanding how to actually make those adjustments. If you have played the game for a while and know that information already, you can use practice mode to really make your adjustments quicker, get better at those, get faster at those, and also perfect the individual adjustments for your particular defense. Okay, so with that being said, let's just jump into a play real quick. We're just going to come out in Tampa 2 and nickel. Okay, now what you'll see here is if you look at the bottom left of the screen, if you click the right stick in, it's going to pop up this pre-play defensive adjustment menu. These are all the adjustments that we can make on the defensive side of the ball before they say hike. Now, one thing that people panic on a lot is they think they don't have enough time to make adjustments. And sometimes that may be true, and sometimes, depending on what you're trying to do, that could be the case. But you have a full five seconds to make your adjustments before the offense can call hike. And that's a lot of time to make the adjustments if you understand how to do it efficiently and quickly. Okay, so what you'll see is obviously we have a bunch of different options here in the menu, but we're going to focus on one here for this video. We're going to talk about individual adjustments or assignments and how we can get better and faster at those. Okay, so you see there in the menu, we have the A button where we could do an individual adjustment. Okay, so if we push A on the player we're on, it's going to pop up the assignments that we can put for that specific player. Okay, if we click over to another player and push A on him, then we're going to have a different set of assignments or adjustments for that particular player. Same thing for any of the players on the defense. Okay, now that's great and that is a way that you can set up your defense, but it's not the fastest way that we can do it. Okay, you can actually do that without ever having to click off of the person that you're on. Okay, now the way that we do that is by utilizing the secondary defensive line and linebackers menu buttons there with the Y and then using the D-pad. Okay, so first we're going to look at the secondary. So if we push Y, you can see it's going to pop up how we can change the entire secondary group. But if you look at the bottom, it says quick adjust, where if we push Y again, it's going to pop up the different players that are a part of our secondary that we can adjust from right here in the menu without having to click onto them. Okay, you see here, it obviously does tell you the name in the bottom left, but it pops up the button above their head of who you want to change. Okay, so let's say we want to change that right of screen safety. We'll put him, oh, we'll push A to get his assignments up, and now we'll put him on a middle third, which is up on the left stick. Now you can see that safety moved over to the uh, middle third. Now we can do the same thing. If we click back onto him, we can put him on a deep half to the right with the right stick to the right. And now we're back into our Tampa 2 defense. Okay, we want to perfect this way of adjusting because this is going to be the fastest way for us to get all of our adjustments in and making sure that we have our defense set up appropriately for whatever the offense is running. Okay, now before we get to the rest of the adjustments we can make, I did want to let you guys know about our Discord. For those of you that don't know, it is completely free to join, and we really created the Discord to give our community a space and an area to get better at Madden together and really start to enjoy the game more. Uh, I know a lot of people who are struggling on the game. Uh, it's just not fun when you are struggling, right? And that's what the Discord is made for. Uh, it's for everyone, right? It's for uh, the people who want to help others. It's the people who need help themselves or the people who just want to have good conversation uh, with other like-minded people in the Madden community. Uh, so if you are trying to get better and really start to enjoy that game more, make sure you head over to huddle.gg slash discord and join today. Again, completely free. Now, with that being said, let's look back at the adjustments and why this is so important to do these quick adjustments. Okay. Now, if you look at uh, a play that I like to do a lot, it's called the... Uh, Tampa 3. Okay, so what the Tampa 3 is, is it's going to be uh, this middle linebacker. We're going to come out on a Tampa 2. We're going to put this middle linebacker in a deep middle third. We're going to put this safety on the left and an outside third to his side. And then we'll put the right safety on an outside third to his side. Okay, so you saw there we were able to click on each of those players and make the adjustments, but that's not the fastest way for us to do it. We do have the defense we want set up, but we're going to reset the play here and we're going to see how we can do this without actually having to uh, click onto those players. Okay, so what you're gonna see is we're gonna push um, the linebacker button, which is right on the D-pad. 
And then if we do quick adjust, which is right on the D-pad again, it pops up the different linebackers that we can adjust. We're gonna push X because that's the player we want in the middle third, and then we're gonna put him on the middle third, okay? Now we're gonna do secondary, so we're gonna do Y, Y. Then we're gonna do the left safety, which is Y again. We're gonna put him in an outside third to the left. And then we're gonna do Y, Y, the right safety, which is A. And we're gonna put him on an outside third to the right. Okay, so you see here, we're able to set that up without ever having to get away from our defensive line. Now let's say we wanna QB spy our user. If we push left, left for defensive line, our button, which is Y, now we have the ability to put him on a QB spy. Okay, so we're able to set up that entire defense without ever moving away from this player here at D tackle. Okay, so if we reset this play, I know it seemed like that took a lot longer. That was just because I was showing you how we can do it. Now, if I do show you uh, how quickly we can do it, watch, I'll start right now. And I'm already finished with everything there, right? So I put the middle guy in the deep middle, the safeties in the outside thirds, and I put my user on the QB spy. Okay, so I can do that in maybe one and a half, two seconds without having to cycle through all the different players and get the players uh, in the adjustments that way, right? This is gonna be a much quicker way for you to do it and a much more important way because now we have an extra two to three seconds to make any other adjustments we'd wanna make, right? So again, one more time, if we're sitting this Tampa 2, you can see we reset the play. We're just gonna put these guys into their adjustments and now I'm already done with all of those adjustments without ever having to cycle through um, each of the individual players. And you can see it's much, much quicker. And you do want to practice this because like I said, this is something that um, you're not going to know how to do right away. This is taking a lot of practice time for me to understand how to get quicker at it uh, and really set it up for my specific defense. But you want to make sure that you get into practice mode uh, and do the same thing for whatever defense you are running right now.